fish scales, it's who I be. Push link in 63. Sloppy drunk, I don't need ID. Tell the law to come see by me. Outlaw like Jesse James. In the club with that sexy dame. Bad girl from A Town. Only dance if it's cake round. Five tens and twenties toss. Mess with her, you take plenty of loss. Shots strong, that lemon salt. Pack of blunts for that draw I bought. Shit, I got Mississippi going nuts. And skinny D got my back, so I'm spilling my cup. I dig pretty girls, them pretty legs. Know what it means to go get that bread. Throwing up shots, them city fair. Millersville, with them city fair. Yo. Now look at what you're facing. You just stepped into shit now. Mind filled, filled with a bunch of goop goop traps. Google Maps can't find your location. Lost in the sauce, trying to chase the cootie cat. 40 acres, never going back. Want to make a million, probably give it back. This shit is whacking, and never leave the basement. Never recoup, and that's a motherfucking fact. So give us a little bit of a just kind of background on what's happening now. Um, what's happening now? What's yeah. happening now? Basically, what's happening now? We out here on this road getting it, Rolling Stone tour. Um, right now, what you see is skinny and scales. Um, you know, half and nappy roots. We're just pushing it, man. Evolving our music into a whole new, you know, way of life and living and, and mind framing. As far as skinny scales is concerned, you know, we like two opposites, two polar ends of, of how we hooked up as nappy roots, but we always kind of been hanging around each other since college. So, you know, real recognized, real, and we just been gravitating and making music that's um, similar, like minded, you know, giving our fans what they need to have. Word. Thank you. So, what, <clears throat> where, where did nappy roots come from? What's the whole beginning story behind that? Oh. Um, we, we hooked up in college, you know. Nappy roots was more of a, a cool word we used in a bunch of our rhymes, you know. And as we met each other different years of school, we kind of all kind of brought it back to the center. And that was kind of like the click. Nappy roots was more so a, a, a movement in a way of life. And um, we put it on a couple shirts, sold them, they sold well. Ended up putting it onto a CD and branded it as music. And that's how we kind of became identified as the, the, the Nappy roots. And so, um, you know, it's an educational, southern conscious, social, political, southern based hip hop group that, you know, we like having fun, we like doing drugs, we like cussing, <laughs> and fucking with bad motherfuckers. <laughs> but, you know, we like to have fun, man, and kicking, man. That's kind of what the whole lifestyle of movement is about in that group. You run to any, any city, and people have that same, you know, idea and lifestyle, they want to kick it and hang out too, and, you know, smoke good weed. So, it's kind of where, where the 40 acres coming from? So. 40 Acres kind of came about with me and Scales. We just to have a lot of records together, man. As we was making Nap Root albums, we would always, you know, like the same beats. We would always, you know, when we was writing, we didn't have to ask what we was writing about. When he spit his verse, my verse would be almost similar to what his verse was. And our two verses always kind of gravitated towards each other on songs and whatnot. And so when we were um, trying to figure out what we can do outside of Nappy Roots, we just looked at all the records we had and, you know, it was actually the first election. The idea popped up when Barack won the election. It was like, bam. Well, we got half. We got half our reparations. That was the 40 acres. We still got to get the mule, which is, you know, the peace of mind. You know, the lifestyle, the, the quality of life you have is the mule in regards to our reparations. So, with us looking at 40 acres, it's a it's a project. It's not really us as a as a group. It's 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 a mindset. You're like, you know, we got half of what we need to get as as African Americans, as hip hoppers. You know. We seen the fame, we seen the money, we seen the nice cars, we seen the nice houses, we seen, you know, beautiful places. Now, we're trying to get the respect. We're trying to get the appreciation. We're trying to have the, the 401k plan now, the retirement, the peace of mind. And you know, for your efforts, you did what you love every day, and you can sit back and retire off that knowing you did your job and not, you didn't hurt anybody, you didn't kill nobody, you didn't lie to nobody to get it, you didn't, you know, undermine nothing, and you just straight up honest, un unapologetic, you know, we don't give a fuck. We're flying duck wings, hip hop. You know what I'm saying? How you feel about that, Skip? I agree. And also, like, um, like Skinny mentioned, we got half of it. Like, you know, now we're looking for the mule. It's like we also independent. And um, we started out. We came into the game with Atlantic Records, a major label, one of the biggest labels in, in the music industry. And we left Atlantic and started our own label, Inbred. And it's like, okay, we got this part of it. Now, like Skinny say, we want the whole lifestyle to be able to support ourselves and just to live a good life doing music. And that's the other half of it. So, you know, we're happily independent. We own all of our own music, but we only feel like that's half of it. Now we got to get the money and respect that go along with it. And 40 Acres, that's this project we're working on, Skinny and Scale. Word.
So what about your time in Oxford? I'm sure y'all had a pretty eventful night. <laughs> yeah, I like Oxford, man. You hear a lot of racist shit about Oxford, especially Ole Miss. But last night, I met a lot of good people who really changed my whole thought about Oxford. And um, it was a good crowd. Like, they loved the music. And it's just crazy to see the young faces, like 20-year-olds, 21-year-olds, who's familiar with Nappy Roots. Because we've been in the game since 2000, well, since 98. And people are still current with us. And it's, it's an amazing feeling. Look forward to coming back to Oxford. Yeah, Mississippi as a whole, man, you know. Um to come from Kentucky, you know, it's the same thing. Like a lot of people don't come out of out of the state too often in regards to hip hop that can make a name for themselves. And you know, Mississippi, you got like David Banner, and you got um, you know, Big Crit right now doing this thing in hip hop and making a scene in the name for the state of Mississippi. But as far as uh, Kentucky is concerned, it's Nappy Roots. There's a couple other acts that are doing it, but no one has done it like Nappy Roots. Yeah. And so to, to come to another state and get the same type of love you'd have got if you was at your own home state. You know, that says a lot, man. And so this, this is our um, this is our Mississippi leg of our Rolling Stone tour, you know. Day was very, you know, giving in the drugs. <laughs> the women was very cool and fly, People, you yeah. know. The, everybody it was fly. a good vibe, man. The, People don't know a lot about Mississippi, man. So we got a lot to go back and talk about after this weekend, for real. Like, the Saint bars Django. was good, the food was good. Yeah, <laughs> St. Django, this candy land out here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, it's cool, man. I fucked with Mississippi. Um, I, when when um, T. Wallace, when he booked the shows, you know, I was kind of hesitant. Like, you know, I wasn't crazy about coming to Mississippi, but I'm loving it. It's our second day in the city, and it's, it's great, man. Yeah, man. Second day in the state. We was in Hattiesburg the night before. We was in Oxford last night, and we're going to um, Jackson right now. And it's been one of, one of our best runs. Yeah. yeah. It's a good way to, you know, start the year off. You know, yeah. we just into February, but, you know, we got a lot more days to hit. And this is going to set precedence for the rest of them as our expectations. You know, we kind of keep them kind of low to the curve, but, you know, every now and then you get hit with a great show, a great venue, the sound system is dope, the lights is right, you know, the mood is, you know, the mist is setting right on the crowd. You know, they're not impatient, but they're eager. You know what I'm saying? You get all that at the right time, and, man, you got a perfect storm. And then we come right in right between that. But our little sailboat, you know, we rocking and swim, but we make it through it, you know, un unscathed and, you know, up the next day, then nobody throw up, so. Yeah, I call that a good night. Where are you from? <laughs> from Millersville, Georgia. Right. Fish scales from Millersville, Georgia. Small town, about 30,000 people. How do we get in touch with 40 Acres? Shut up, Tony Wallace. <laughs> get him away from us. Security. <laughs> <laughs> man, you get in touch with 40 Acres, you can hit us up, man. Um, you can hit us up at 40 Acres on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You can definitely follow us on Instagram, at 40 Acres. Or you can hit us up individually. Nappy Scales. Skinny DeVille, at Skinny DeVille, um, you know, Skinny at Nappy Roots, Scales at NappyRoots.com, you know, it's all kind of ways you can get in touch with us, you know, holler at booking agents, you know, you can go to Nappy Roots Twitter, you see all the contact information there, you know, check out NappyRoots.com, that's probably another, another easy way to get in touch with us, because it's, it's all right there, Word. it ain't hard to find. What kind of shit are you guys rapping on, 40 Acres? Can you Who's give us just beat? a little bit, you know, a verse or two off of that? Hotel counter full of residue. Let's make every night unforgettable. I'm riding in the bucket saying fuck them all. How can we get to heaven with no luck at all? Old school church in the minivan. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me think. Oh, it's just like some straight up unapologetic hip hop. Like this the morning after party. I can't really remember most of it, but it's like just straight up. What I call it is hardcore hip hop from like the mid 90s. Like, the shit that we grew up on. Because most hip-hop now is aiming to be pop or mainstream. But when we came into the game, hip-hop was all about don't go pop. Don't, you know, keep it real. Don't try to, don't, don't cross over. You know, which ain't the healthiest way to think as an artist, but that's just what we grew up on, hardcore hip-hop. Like, fuck the radio, fuck TV. Just say what you want to say on the song. And that's 40 Acres. That's what we talking about. You got anything for us? Okay. Um, let me hit that blunt. Not really, but uh, let me think of something I've been working on. <laughs> I mean, we got a we got a bunch of uh, stuff that's gonna be different. That a lot of people that love Nappy Roots gonna be like, wait a minute. Okay, I can get into that. But um, now look at what you're facing. You just stepped into shit. Now mind filled filled with a bunch of Google, Google traps. Google Maps can't find your location. Lost in the sauce trying to chase the cootie cat for the acres. Never going back. Want to make a million? Probably give it back. Shit is whack and I never leave the basement. Never recoup and that's a motherfucking fact. 
know what I'm saying? So that's that's oh, off God. the the introduction, you know, as soon as you pop in the CD, I, my plans is for the first song to smack you in the face with a, you know, with a water balloon. It ain't gonna hurt too much, but it's gonna wake you up. And um, I think the fans will like it. If you love Nappy Roots and you respect what we do and not, you know, falling into the to the to the hype or the fads of what's going on right now, you know that we're gonna stay consistently, you know, true to our values and beliefs and have fun doing it, man. And check it out, man. Forty Acres, you you like it, the Forty Acres Project. And it's, it's produced exclusively um, by SMKA, mm -hmm. Supermarket Knife Attack. You know, we got it with 808 Blake and Mike, and um, we really sat down with a real game plan, and they really gave us what we was looking for from a production team, and it's going to be amazing. Yes. Yo, what up, y'all? This is Skinny DeVille. It's your boy Fish Scales, represent 40 Acres and Nappy Roots, and this has been our Oxford session. Yeah. We out of here. Keep it nappy. All my niggas from the Boondocks, that's DP, Real Low, D-Boy, Young E. All them niggas gonna see money, I swear to God, that's on me. 61, 03, take shit back to 03. Go in the front of you, find me. In Bowling Green with the OZ, with the OZ, yup, whole zip. Dominique Dogs, they show flip. He's getting a free concert. Perfect. On recession. Nap Root Music Group, man. DP the Hustler, man. Stick ball. Watching that bit, man. All right. Off of Mississippi doing all that. Boom. Trey Jackson, 6103. Man, hey. Get the fuck Yo. out of here, man. Easy. Let's now do it, man. Hey, let me, introduce, let me introduce my brother, man. Um, DP the Hustler. We grew up together back in Millersville, Georgia. Really one of the coldest niggas I heard flow. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go back home and shine light on my brother, man. DP the Hustler coming out on Nappy Roots Entertainment Group. So look for it. Stick boys in the building. Shout out to D-Boy, Rello, Young E, holding it down, man. This my man, D.P. the Hustle. Check him out, too, on YouTube, all that. Yeah, got new shit dropping off, man. Got new single, Third Age Special, Fixing Slick Puller from CTE. Got that shit popping off, you know what I'm saying? Got big shit going on with Nappy. So yeah. everything about to pop off 2013, man. Y'all check me out, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all that shit, D.P. the Hustle. You got a verse for us? Yeah, pick some old school shit for y'all, goddamn. Oh. Out of state doing shows, all I see is groupy shit. Every day I'm fucking hoes, all I see is fire shit. Smoking on that fire green, all you see is nappy shit. Real nigga, man, all the time I'm on some other shit. Grinding in the old school, hoes love to see your boy. Your boy be wide open, yo, hoes love to touch your boy. Smelling like reefer every day. You know, you see me, dawg. Hell locked up, but nigga locked up, I'm with him, dawg. <laughs> DP, the hustle. T. Wallace, 478 363 The book, 40 Acres, Stick Boys. 6103 Entertainment. This has been our Oxford session. Let's do Red Lobster lunch. On you. I ain't gonna be there. Go with you. Let's talk about that with Captain D's. Captain D's, buddy. I appreciate y'all, man. <laughs>